What a brain. What a, what a wonderful education. Yeah, what a linguist. Unbelievable. He, he read Russian. Tolstoy. He read Russian. He spoke Russian. And that was the last with, language he took with, up. With poetry from him in Russian. And of course, French. Perfect. And English. He had an English. He, not Italian and Spanish. Think that he wasn't a Brit. No one. Except his father fixed him up. Fixed him up that cost him a lot of trouble. He put down on his birth certificate, David Israel. Israel no, David. Israel David. Israel. He put, he put his first name Israel. And of course David couldn't, he couldn't get rid of it. He wanted to be in dancing in English. But, uh, well, he had the very he had a soft feeling spot for that, Israel. that there would be, to, you know, problems um, because of uh, discrimination and anti-Semitism, and he wasn't wrong because it's there, you know, underlying. If you wanted to sadly enough, go up in the echelons of uh, United Nations and where he worked, translation. United Nations. The Organization, Organization for European Economic the, Cooperation. Yeah. The EEOC. I suppose that the name Israel, although many Jews were in top positions. Well, there were, there were many Jews not with very Jewish sounding names. Not called hard, but David was, I would call him assimilated. But he had something about him that was Jewish. You know what I mean? <laughs> Indeed. And he cared very much for Israel. He always worried what's going to happen. You know. But once he was among non-Jews, away from the family, he seemed to act as, as an Englishman. He was, he was an Englishman. But it was a very interesting chapter to know. 